With the WBC Strongweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing, our referee in charge of this bout, introducing Chuck Hassett. Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing dark blue trunks, and joining us all the way from Incheon, South Korea. He weighed in at 103 pounds, his record includes 11 wins, four losses, with 10 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former Korean strawweight champion, currently ranked the WBC number six contender. Please welcome the hard-hitting challenger, Myung Suk Park. <laughs> his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with multicolor trim from Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico, by way of Cuernavaca, Morelos, Mexico. He weighed in at 103 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 43 wins, no losses, 33 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his unprecedented 18th defense of his title. Please welcome the most dominant strawweight in the history of boxing, introducing the WBC strawweight champion of the world, the undefeated Ricardo Finito Lopez. Once again, a referee in charge, Chuck Hassett, now to give instructions. Hey, hey. All right, let's go. Seat second, seat second. Every, hey. Seat second. One. No, just one. One. All, all right, gentlemen, you've had your instructions. I want to repeat, we're working on voice commands. This is the World Boxing Council strawweight title fight, and I expect a championship effort. Nice to see your mouthpiece. Ricardo, mouthpiece. All right, any questions? Good luck, come out boxing. I got it. Okay. The final instructions from referee Chuck Hassett. There's the champion, Ricardo Lopez, who last fought just 28 days ago in his remarkable 17 title defenses. Only three have reached the final bell. He's had more championship fights than this man. Myung Sub Park has had fights, 18 to 15. Park has fought only once in 96. A decision victory. It was the only time in his 11 wins that his opponent heard the final bell. He is 11 and 4 with 10 knockouts, while Lopez is 43 and 0 with 33 KOs. Lopez in the white trunks and Park in the black trunks. The referee gave instructions in English. Neither fighter speaks a word of English. Yeah, I was going to say. Whereas the last in the last fight, the referee was perfect. In this fight, he's absolutely lost. Well, I'll tell you what, Park just showed a pretty good chin. He got hit with one of the cleaner right hands that Lopez has thrown right on the button. He didn't really flinch. Lopez, not usually a fast starter. He's very disciplined and very patient, as we have talked about. Very precise and accurate with his punches. He sees what he wants to do, and then he executes, and he gets very upset with himself if he doesn't. Well, now, now I wonder if in the script for the 49ers, uh, as we throw it back, the script for this one was go out and do a certain thing differently well, because he's not starting as slow as you Given that it's December the 7th, Bobby, maybe it's a surprise he had uh, to just launch on him. He's, after all, he is a tough fighter in the first round when he wants to be. By the way, you notice that the, that the gloves are the Mexican flag, red, white, and green? Doesn't bode well for the uh, challenger. <laughs> No. Uh, Lopez, very patient at the start, not in a hurry, but a superb finisher, a student of the game. The big one, too. There you go. Surgical like, master of the uppercut. There's the left uppercut, doubles up with the left uppercut, a straight left going strictly with the left there. Then a combination by Ricardo Lopez and opening up early here on the challenger. You know, I'm a little bit surprised. He rocked him with that one, too, and didn't really come in and jump on him, which is something certainly I would have done in most fighters would. Known to wear opponents down, but he's going for the quick finish tonight. Boy, is he ever. I, mean, I don't think I've ever seen him this fast. I don't think I've ever seen him go after a guy this fast. Whoa. Well, sweet of this, but a left floors the challenger park. A straight ball. 
foul. A little bit of a hook into it. Six. This fight's over, fellas. Yeah, this fight is O-B-E-R. A bloody young Sub Park staggers to his feet. Less than a minute remaining in round one. I don't believe Will it should continue? continue? Oh, I don't think it so. It does continue, but for how long? Lopez looking to finish it off. A left cut, a combination of that set. Chuck Cassett steps in, and it's over in round one. I think the referee second-guessed his decision and decided, you know what, it's just not worth it. Yeah, I, I, I do believe Bobby, he had good second thoughts in a hurry because this guy was no, in no shape when he got up. You could see it, he had blood coming out. It, it was no point continuing. But Bobby, that's the first time I've ever seen this guy come out that fast. Not only not just that, the fact that he came out that fast, but Bertie, it's the hardest I've ever seen him punch okay. with single punches and in combination. I have never seen him punch that hard. Yeah, when we say this guy punches hard, I've never seen that kind of velocity of punch. Wow, is this guy... I mean, his pinpoint accuracy and the strength of the punches. I have a new boxing fantasy, Ferdy. You know what it is? It's to take the abilities of this kid and superimpose them, for lack of a better phrase, on a man 6'3", 230, and see what happens then. Guys, could, could we manage him? <laughs> you and I, let's manage him. Let's take a look at, at the knockdown, because this guy, just, just look at the way he, first of all, he holds his gloves up. Notice that he holds his gloves up all the time. Now, he missed with that, and I watched him come back. That's that there is there is the danger of this guy. 